Episode 10, The Runaway. All systems go, sir. Ready for blast off? Roger. Switching on. Synchronize the flag, Madoodle. Roger. 8.2 and holding. Justin, come on. Uh, who's pinching? I want help, Justin. But it's bedtime, Professor. Why don't you wait until tomorrow? And oh, no. Uh, I want to test my brilliant new invention. I can practically guarantee it's going to take us back to where we came from. Oh, really? Sorry to mention it, but I think I've heard that song somewhere before. Promises. Don't be a smarty. Come follow my instructions. I want you to pull that lever when I give you the word. Why don't you do it yourself? Uh, uh. You're being a pill, Justin. Professor Bumble only has two hands, you know. All right, all right. I'm taking care of it. Sir, are you ready? Switch on the gravity combo. <laughs> Justin, ready now. Pull it. Uh, do what? Oh, yeah! No, the other way! Down, not up. Uh -oh. Justin, that part you sent out the window was my new invention, the time revolter. Without that part, we've got very little chance to get back to the 20th century. It's all your fault because you were asleep at the switch. Yes, Justin, you're just too busy thinking about yourself. That's a bad habit you've picked up lately. She's right. It was your sour mood that got us in this pickle. It's not fair. Everybody's against me. Nobody's on my side. No. 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 I'm going to find that time revolter if it takes me all week. Hmm. Hope this metal detector is working. I've just got to find it because I don't want everybody to be mad at me anymore. Boy! Huh? Hi, is it you who called? Yeah, what do you got there? This is a machine for finding metal stuff. What are you looking for? For a piece of metal machinery about this size. It dropped out of the sky. The sky? Oh, that's impossible. But now that you mention it, I did see something strange in the sky last night. 
I was watching Grandpa's field when a streak of light came down and touched the ground. Here? Yeah, that's it. If you want, I'll show you where it happened. I can leave now. Don't you have to watch the field anymore? Nah, it's so bright there won't be any thieves around. To tell you the truth, I'm supposed to be plowing the field right now. Your grandpa thinks you're plowing? Don't you give me away, all right? Hmm, all right. Nothing's growing in this drought anyway. Haven't you heard? Jesus is preaching over on the mountain. I'm going to ask him to heal my daughter. Come along with us and be blessed. If that's where you're going, go ahead. But I've got too much to do here to spare the time. Good day. Good day. What a waste of time. Nothing's going to grow here without rain. Why are they going up there? They all want to see Jesus. Wish I were. Have you met Jesus? Mm -hmm. He's a wonderful man. He can perform miracles, like healing people who are sick. Hey, that sounds fabulous. What do you say we go see him? Yeah. Huh? The time revolter's nearby. Aaron? Aaron, where are you going? Are you running off before you finish your chores like you did yesterday? Oh, no, Grandpa, I finished my chores. Now, don't lie to me. I can tell by your hands you haven't done any work. Oh. I asked you to plow, didn't I? This land won't produce any crops anyway. Certainly won't if it isn't plowed. I'm sick of being a farmer, Grandpa. I've got big plans. Don't want to hear about your big plans. They have no foundation. If you'd only let me go to the city, I'd learn how to become a successful merchant. What's wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with it. But you're my grandson, and this land is your responsibility. I won't be here forever, you know. Oh, bats. Huh? Hooray! That's it! Uh, I can't budge it. Uh, too heavy. Who are you? Oh, my name's Justin Casey, sir. Is this a friend of yours, Aaron? He just appeared over there. I was looking for this thing. I've got to take it back now. Can you show me some proof that it belongs to you? I can't prove it. Then it's mine until someone turns up who can prove he's a rightful owner. Wait a minute. Grandpa. Oh, but it's mine. Believe me. Hmm. I will give it back to you if, if in return, you will help Aaron bring some water from the lake for my seeds. That's a fair bargain. Aaron, show him the way. Not again, Gramps. Do you know what a long walk it is to the lake? It's months since rain fell on the ground. You've got to bring it water. It's not a fair bargain, but how can I refuse? <sighs> Irrigation. That's what you need. Would you believe I have to do this every day? That's just one of the reasons why I want to leave the farm. There's no future for me here. Hmm. I understand. Everybody's leaving here to go find work in the city. There's only two people still trying to farm around here. Grandpa and me. Look. Ugh. Hey, wait for me. Oh, sir, where are you when I want you? I have a feeling Justin needs me. He's really been gone a long time. Think he found that thing? I suspect he won't come back till he finds the time revolter, sir. I think it is my duty to go and assist Justin. Good idea, but I have to take a nap. I, don't want to go Wait for I hope Justin learned a lesson. He's so clumsy. <laughs> frogs I saw. I can't move. Looks to me like you boys could use a little pick-me-up. Want lunch? Do we? Yeah, we do. Thank you. Thank you. Huh? Is this all? Grandpa, is this all the lunch we have to give a guest? 
Now, Aaron, don't act so spoiled. I can remember times when your parents and I didn't even have a crust of bread to eat during the great drought. And now there's another drought. Well, I'm not staying around for this one. No, Aaron, wait! last a couple of days. Aaron? Justin? Where are you going, Aaron? I just can't take it here anymore. Wait, don't you think it's wrong to leave your grandpa alone? Well, Justin, don't you think it's wrong for grandpa to keep me here on this broken down farm where I may starve to death? Well, but farm life is for the birds. I'm going to the city to become a merchant. You mean you're not coming back? Not on your life. I'm gonna make so much money in town, I won't care what happens to this old farm. You gotta talk to your grandpa before you go away. Oh. Says so. So long, Aaron. Gosh. <sighs> Where in the world could Justin have gone? How could we ever find him? Look at that big crowd. I estimate there are 5,000 people in crowd. If Justin knows that Jesus is expected here, then this is the place to find him. Maybe we should have been nicer to Justin. Why, Corky? Maybe he was so depressed he jumped in the lake. No way. Or threw himself under the heels of a camel. Hush, Corky. All this talk about Justin gets Angie upset. What makes you think I'm getting upset? You're not? Then why is your face so red? You stop it! Oh, Justin, where are you? Son's running away. He's left to go live in the city. Come look at this. Huh? Oh. Aaron should see this. The seeds have sprouted because you gave them water. Too bad he won't. I know the Lord provides, but Aaron doesn't. Can't you stop him? He'll come back, I'm sure. He's my grandson. He has his roots in this ground just like this plant has. Uh-huh. <gasps> Oh. Are you all right? I'm just getting old. You should be taking it easy at your age. You're working too hard. Can't help it, son, when there's a drought like this. I remember the last time there was a drought. It was dreadful. Aaron was still a baby. There was no rain at all for a full year. None of our seeds even sprouted. Our food was soon used up. There was nothing to eat. That was when Aaron's parents, weakened by hunger, grew sick and died. They sacrificed any food they had to keep baby Aaron alive. And you've kept the farm going ever since then without any help, except for Aaron. Mm -hmm. And now he's gone. He'll be back to take over the farm. God will change his heart, I'm sure. Gee whiz, I never realized that running a farm is a very important job. It is. I'm gonna go look for Aaron. You stay right there in bed and rest. See you later. God bless you. Aaron! Aaron, come back. Your grandpa needs you. It's me, Justin. Aaron, where are you? Master, these people are complaining they're hungry. Maybe you should send them to town where there's food to be had, right? If these followers are hungry, then you must feed them. What? How can we feed so many? There are four or five thousand. Master, it's impossible. Are we to go and spend money for enough bread to feed them all? See if you can find someone who has even a small piece of bread that he's willing to share. Bring it to me, and I promise you I will provide enough food for all. Master, enough for the multitude. Mm-hmm. All right. 
Attention! Is there anyone here who has some bread? A small amount will do. If you do, please share it with us. Father, mother, goodbye. Granddad. I wish I might have a chance to talk with that man, Jesus. Maybe he could help me to make up my mind about leaving the farm or not. Hey, you, little boy. Hmm? Let me see what you've got in that basket there, young fella. <gasps> I've got nothing but bread and fish. Uh -huh. He's got bread and fish. That's all we need. Come on, give me that food right away. No, this is all the food I have for a week. The rest of us don't have any. That's why we have to take yours. Oh, you After can't him. have it. Where are you ah! going? <laughs> We got you cornered. Yeah, boy, if you don't want to get hurt, you better give us that food right now. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. Please, Justin. You man, aren't you ashamed of what you're doing? What would Jesus say about this if he knew? It was Jesus who told us to do it. What? I don't believe it. Jesus told us to find someone who was willing to share even a little piece of bread. Sorry we tried to force you, but are you willing to share? Aaron? But Grandpa worked so hard for this. I know. What do you think your grandfather would want you to do? He believed in sharing, didn't he? Uh, 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 uh. Here, take my food. Gosh, thanks. Gosh, there isn't very much here. Don't worry about that, Justin. Huh? Andrew! Bring whatever you have to Jesus, and he will provide for all the hungry to be fed. Wow. But how? You must have faith in Jesus. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Here, Jesus. Hmm. I want to share this bread and fish with you. Oh, do you think it'll be enough? We must trust that Jesus will keep his word, son. Blessings be on these five loaves of barley bread and two small fishes. <laughs> Andrew, come pass this food around to all. Yes, sir. Huh? Here you are, for you, and you. Eat heartily, my friends. There's plenty for all. Thank you. Look at that. There's more and more food. Awesome. Be patient. You'll all be fed. Want to go and help Andrew? All right. Come on. Goody, 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 goody. Some for you. Some for you. And you. Thanks. It's a miracle. Thank you. Couldn't eat another bite if I had to. Angie, couldn't we stop and rest for a while? No, we won't have a chance to find him after Look, dark. Isn't that Justin? Justin! I knew we would find him here. Where we old bloodhounds. Sure, we tracked him down. Justin! Justin! Angie, what are the three of you doing here? Looking for you. You have been gone so long, we started to worry. Haven't you found the time revolter yet? We're all waiting for it. Mm, that's right. Did you forget? I'm afraid so, but that's not all. Aaron, I, I don't understand what's going on. Aaron, I forgot to tell you what happened to your grandfather. He collapsed. He collapsed? My poor grandpa. It's all my fault. Now I understand. Grandpa was right. It may look hopeless, but if I have faith, the farm will do all right. Granddad! Chloe! Uh, Granddad! Huh? Where is he? Oh, no, I'm too late. He's gone. Aaron? Oh. Her 
really sorry, Aaron. What's that? Let's go see. Shh. to stay. I'm sorry I ran away. I knew you'd be back. The farm belongs to you, and you belong to the farm. <laughs> Grandpa, you should be in bed. Yes, I know, but I have to fix this wagon so Justin can take that heavy machine back where it came from. You're the best grandfather I ever met. All done? <clears throat> oh. Granddad, you gotta... Yes, I'll go to bed now that the wagon's fixed. Thank you very much! Thanks for everything! Go on! Bye-bye, Gramp! Come back and see us! Oh! Huh, Gramp? You all right? I'll be back in shape in no time, because now I'll get some rest. Now that I know that you look after the farm. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Down on me. Eee, what's that? And... Look, huh? I think I'm getting wet. Hooray, it's raining! Whoopee, the drought's over! Trip, trip, trip. Come on, we better cover the time revolter. We'll never get home if it gets rusty. Ah! Erin, look. Our crops are starting to grow. Oh, you'd better be going now, but hurry back to the wagon. We'll be ready to harvest before you know it. Right. I won't be gone long. Hi, giddy up, bossy. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Aaron's grandpa. See you again. Bye. Bye. Thanks for everything. Data entry for ship's log. Day's adventure in Sapoli. Aaron learns from Jesus' example that anything is possible through faith. Professor Bumble's time revolter safely returned to Flying House to be reinstalled. We depart for 20th century tomorrow. Weather permitting?